Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Booster Add-ons. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing the team member widget. You can start by looking for team in the search bar and dragging the widget into the desired section. This widget is a great tool to showcase your team members by using a name, an info text, a short text, and social icons to link your social accounts. The content section is where you can choose a layout, upload an image, and change the text. The social icons can be used to link your social accounts. The styling tab is going to be used to change the text color and text properties for your elements. Social styling is going to be used to apply a custom style for the icons. And the distances section is where you can control the distance between all the widget elements. If you go to boosteraddons.com, you can find the team member demo page. This page has some examples that you can achieve by using this widget. For this tutorial, we'll be taking three examples and creating them using the page builder. And we are going to start with this one. Okay, I'm going to start by changing the default image. And before I go through the styling, I just want to quickly explain the social accounts feature. As you can see here, we have four social icons by default. This is because their respective text box have a placeholder in them. For example, if I wanted to remove Facebook from the list, I just need to empty the text box like so. On the other hand, if I wanted to add, for example, a YouTube link, as soon as I enter the YouTube link, the YouTube icon will appear in the list. Alright. I will start by changing the background color. Like so. Then I'm going to head to style and change the color for the about text to white, like so. Then head to social styling and these two options, the color scheme and background scheme, when enabled, allow you to use the default social media colors. For this example, I'm going to disable them and simply change the icon's color to white. And here, as you can see, we can still have the social media default color when we hover over the icons. This is because these options are also available for the hover state. I'm going to change the hover effect to tada, like so. Now that we are done with the first example, let's move to the second one. And we are going to go with this one. Again, I am going to look for team and simply drag the widget. Let's change the image and change the style to style number one. And here you can see that we no longer have the option to change the background color. This is because this layout doesn't have an overlay. Instead, we have text alignment to change the text positioning. I'm going to go to style again and we are going to leave the text color as default. Head to social styling, hover and let's choose a different hover effect. Let's go with Murawa, like so. This was a simple one. Let's move to the last example. And we are going to go with this one. Again, I am going to look for team and drag the widget. Let's change the image. And let's use style number 5. As you can see, all the text now is inside the image. Let's change the overlay color to this dark red color. Great, let's head to style and change the text color to white 
for all the elements. Like so. Then head to source styling. Disable this option again. And choose white as a color for the icons. Like so. And now let's use another different hover effect. Let's go with 3D rotate left. Great. And with this, we reach the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.